swear I love her, know that I love her The way she feels all on the cover The way she make you seem all on the cover What's, What's going on, on family? And we're back with another video True, true, true Guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're new here Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Um. Let's get right into it, baby. Come on. So this video is really basically about you or about us. About you. Um. All right. About us. It's about us. Go ahead. Um. I don't know. Because we're here together. I'm here with you on. So it's us. Um. I'm gonna cry. You never start and you're crying already. Don't think about it so hard. Come on, just do it. It's a moment. Just do it. Yeah, I can just do it. It's a moment. And there goes my sister. Hello. <laughs> I worry and I fret a whole lot. Like, I don't know a lot. I don't know a lot of people use that word fret. People use that word fret? Mm. Or is that like an island term? Because I know my mommy, my mommy always said that. But I'm sure people know what it means. Yeah, I'm sure they know what it means, but like, yeah. But, for a very long time, it's like, I always like, I've always been afraid to like, do certain things. Like, even in middle school, even in high school, like every single thing that I did, every single thing that I had the opportunity to do, I would always shy away from it because I was so worried of like, what people would say, how people would see me, even if it would be something good. It could be even something good, like someone saying, oh, Brittany, um, for an example, I remember when I, when I was younger, I used to play the piano and play the violin because I really, like, when I used to play the piano, one time I saw this girl playing the violin and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I want to play the violin. And I remember my mom and I was like, okay, you want to play the violin? And my mom and my dad were like, you want to play the violin? So I was like, yeah. So they was like, okay, we'll you will pay for classes for you to do the violin. So I moved from the piano to the violin. I think I was like in grade one or grade two of the piano, if y'all know how like music works. And I graduated with distinction with the piano and then I moved to the violin. And it was like the violin is something that I really, really liked. And then I remember like if it would come to like playing in church or just playing at recitals and different stuff, it's like whenever I have the opportunity to like play alone, I wouldn't want to play alone. Like I would always want to play with someone else just in case like if I was to mess up, it wouldn't just be solely on me. Right, all the attention. Yeah, all the attention wouldn't be just on me. Where I know, I know in my head I can do it, but I didn't have the guts to get up and actually do it on my own. If that makes sense. Misery loves company. It's not misery. I'm not saying misery is you doing something bad, but... But you know what I'm saying. Misery loves the company. Somebody that's doing something, they always want somebody to be there with them, basically. Yeah, and it wasn't even for a good thing because it was just like, I was just afraid of. I'm afraid to fail. Gee. That feels big too. That's, that's not a bad thing though. It's, it's, it's good to be afraid to fail. I'm afraid to fail. But I just but feel you like can't, you can't me and your situation, it's just like. You being afraid of failure, it's just like you not allowing you not allowing it to stop you though. You right. do everything that like when I tell you like I wish I had what you had, like the type of like courage you have. I wish I had that. I don't want that. But still, I still wish I had more. Of course, you wish you had more, but it's like why am I crying so? Okay. All right. Enough of that. All right. So now, how how does this relate back to YouTube now, from when we first started? Okay. So 2014, no, 2015, 2016. Um, I this is when I had I I came to New York in 2014 to start school. In 2015, 2016, I stumbled upon um, Chris and Queen, Ace Family, and some other YouTubers that I don't really remember. But it was like those three really stood out to me because 
Darian Ken and Kristen Queen were a couple of channels. And Ace Family was the only channel that I really, really knew that was like a family channel at the time that I used to watch. And I remember coming to Rayon and I was like, oh, let's, babe, let's do YouTube, let's do videos on YouTube. And at first I never knew that like you could do videos on YouTube and like upload it and stuff like that. I just thought that YouTube was a place that, you know, you want to learn how to do something, you go there. And I remember coming to Rayon about it and he was like, okay, you want to do it? Let's do it. And here, here, here I heard him say like, oh, let's do it. I immediately retract. So like you was basically asking me something, hoping that I didn't give you the answer. Just so I, answer. yeah. Cause like I was like immediately, immediately as soon as he said, okay, let's do it. All the time I thought started going in my head. Oh, Shit, if I fail, nervous. yeah, I'm nervous. If I fail, people are gonna watch me. I had just now come to New York, just now started school. People don't know who I am. So it's like, I know they're gonna be like, oh, why this girl feel like, oh, she could come here and do this, or why she feel like she did this, or. No, like, different things were just running through my head that just didn't make any sense. And I remember, like, he got, like, so frustrated with me that he went off and he started his own YouTube. He did his, um, when he used to fix phones and stuff like that, he did his own little thing on his own. And... Each time he would always be like, oh God, let me know you're ready, let me know you're ready because I'm ready, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, yeah, I know, yeah. Every time I would always make up excuses, like, oh yeah, this, that, and then 2017 you came, nothing. She used to give me the runarounds, like, oh no, not this, not this month, next month. But I never came out to And then when next month come, keep telling me the same thing, same thing, same thing over and over and over. And then that's when I knew something was just wrong. Like, like why do you keep telling me these, that? just tell me that you don't want to do it at all. But I never came out. Back the dates. But I never came out to him and said like, I'm afraid, like I'm afraid for people to see me this way, or I'm afraid for people to see me fail, or I'm afraid to for people to have opinions. Like I never once said that to him. Whereas I feel like if I had said that to him, yeah, we could have definitely went about it a different. Yeah, way. Yeah, we could have went about it a different way. But it's like I remember in 2017 we did a video. And it was for no reason. We filmed it on a phone. Do we still have that video? Yeah, went to the mall or something. Or to the movie. My plays. Alright, yeah. And we got so much feedback from it. And I was telling her, like, yo, look how much we feedback posted we got. It on, Let's keep doing didn't it. Did we post it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah we, we did. did. We posted it on YouTube. And I didn't even know he posted it on YouTube. And when he posted it on YouTube, I was upset. When I found out he posted it on YouTube, I was upset. Right. And the when reason you saw why positive feedback, you was like, okay, you kind of like, got a little, you kind of calmed down a little bit, but you were still nervous. Yeah, when I saw like so many people like liking it and like so many people like commenting on it, I remember one comment, one guy was like, "Great video, keep up the good work, stay with the vlogs," and I was like, "What?" But it was like it still didn't dawn in my head that I actually could do this. Like I needed more proof. And even still then, after that video in 2017, I never went nowhere else with it because of fear. Like, literally, like, fear was holding me like this. Like, it was just was choking me. Like, no, this gonna happen. Oh, that gonna happen. Like, the anxiety was literally, the anxiety was literally, like, eating me alive. Like, and I, and still to this day, I have yet to accomplish anything. The only thing that I can say that I accomplished is graduating with my undergrad. And coming to New York, that's one big accomplishment that I say that I that I did. But to say that I did accomplishment on my own, something that I always wanted to do, right, like step out of like step out of my comfort zone and do something that I always want to do. Like I want to do YouTube for forever. Yeah, because school, you don't really gotta come out of your way. All you gotta do is just go to class and follow the steps. You already know what you gotta follow. But this right here now, like starting, not really, starting you know what you have to follow. You have to be able to stick it through, though. Right, stick it through. But you, you already have it laid out for you, though. You just gotta stick it through. But when you start in a business, there's no, there's no road, there's no ropes. Let's say you gotta go here, you gotta pass this, and you gotta pass this, and then you take a final test, and then you, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing like that when you start in a business. So that's why this is much harder. And then fast forward to 2018 now. She still wasn't ready. I think it was like maybe like April or June. I was like, you know what? She's not ready. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and create the Instagram, create the Facebook, and create the and YouTube page. And she was upset. upset. Like we literally was on upset. the verge. Like I was like, trying to like push us. I was up. When I tell you I was upset, I was upset, like I was pissed off. I was like, why would you create that and not tell me? And then they started seeing him advertising, and I was like, why would you do that and not tell me? Blah, blah, blah. And it was like, sometimes you just need to be pushed, blah, blah, But I still, yeah, I have yet to come up to him and tell him, like, I'm afraid. Like, fear is something that I've, that I've suffered with my whole entire life. Still have yet to tell him anything like that. And 2018 last year, middle part of last year, was when we actually like started like uploading videos. Right. Um, and when we like in June, the, the TV prank. That's like one of the like real first videos that yeah, we actually shot. Our first video. And I actually came out of my way and just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna prank up. Yeah. But it's like we always said, and that's the thing. Because you know how long we were talking about the name for our channel? Uh -huh. Remember when we was talking? Remember in Thirty East Chester? Remember we was talking about like, oh, oh Brittany, Ray on, Ray on, this gonna Brittany. piss me off, like, it's really going to upset me now. It's really going to upset me, it's gonna make, I feel so like, just upset with myself. Like basically it's upset with myself. Y'all have no idea how long we've been talking about like, names. Remember? It was like, oh, Rayon and Brittany, Brittany and Rayon. We try to figure out which one got a ring to it. Remember? And All of that. Then we came up with R and R and B, like the music. R &B. Yeah, R and B. So and let's put it as Rayon and Brittany, because then we could always switch it if we have to, and then it could just be like the R and B family and stuff like that. So we came up with it because being our family, I don't think that sounds better than R and B. Yeah. So. And then, like last year, we put out a video. And even then, I still wasn't comfortable. I wasn't comfortable at all. Like, we made like the schedule to say like Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like, oh, we'll post or whatever. But it was like, almost like you were pulling teeth with me. Yeah, I have to. Like, I have to. he was okay. Like, he was okay. He was willing to shoot everything. Like, he was, like, at that time, he was like, he was like, let's shoot let's shoot let's do it we can't expect things to happen on our on we can't expect things to happen just by just by the wing just by her wing like we have to put in the work yeah, but me gotta keep pointing out content because what, what she wanted us to do was just put out one video wait like i don't know maybe like a month i don't know weeks whatever i don't know how long you wanted to wait but she, she was just like hoping to like just post like just post a video wait and just wake up and just hope to have like positive feedback but I was telling her no it don't work like that like you have to like actually like put in the work and it was hell it was like hell fighting with her man I was fighting with her all day we used to argue and, you know sometimes I used to think like I was doing something wrong and I was like and I used to think to myself and I was like nah you know and you know finding out now that you know I know I, I, I just told her right this is what she's been dealing with it's like new to me and if she would have told me before I would have probably went, went about it a different way and not try to push you so hard but just try to make you make like a one you know one step at a time yeah one step at a time one small step at a time so but it's, it's surprising just, to me too it's just I don't know like there'll be sometimes like when, when it's time for us to post and literally, if we have to put on a video for Monday, we we'll literally post it Monday. We we'll literally shoot it Monday. Like, right, like, and sometimes we used to put out videos like three, four, like sometimes after you finish editing, like three, four o'clock in the morning, that's when the video will go up. Yeah. Like, it used to be so yeah, bad, no like we schedule. weren't, like, I, like, he would be into the video, but it was like, I wouldn't be into the video, like, it just, I wouldn't. Like when they say like when you start in something, it's like they they say that you should eat, drink, and sleep it. I didn't eat, drink, and sleep it. Like I knew I wanted to do it, but like my talk was that I want to do it. Like this is something that I've been wanting to do, but my walk, but my walk and my actions weren't adding up. So it was on, it was an off balance. Yeah, you basically just put it on the back burner. Yeah, I was putting it on the back burner, but I was saying it out of my mouth. Like this is something that I wanted for so long. 
and something that I wanted to do. But once the but once it was time for me to be by myself, it was just like this ain't gonna work. Why am I fooling myself? It's like literally, and that's what I would say. Not not physically say it to myself, but that that's how it would be in my mind. Like this ain't gonna work. Why I think this gonna work? Why I feel like people people wanna people wanna give me positive feedback? Why I feel like like people gonna be able to relate to me? Huh? Why I feel like that? Why why you feel like that's gonna be you? And it's just like it just sucked. Well, it's yeah, because I can say it sucked because I'm not in that same situation now. Yeah, it just sucked. But it's like there was nothing I could do about it because it's like. When I tell you guys, like, fear is real, fear is real. Fear is not something, like, I can't say that fear started, like, oh, last month, or two weeks ago, or six months ago. No. Fear did not, fear started for me, started for me from, like, middle, like, a very, very young age. Almost half your whole life. Yeah, almost my whole life. So, it's definitely going to be hard to get rid of. It takes small steps. That's why I wish I would have known since earlier. But the funny thing about it is that I feel like my parents knew, like, I don't think that they knew that I was afraid of different things. I just feel like they knew, like, I just would, I was shy. Like, I was shy. And I always could remember my dad always, my daddy always saying, like, oh, whatever you do, and if you're passionate about something, do it to the best of your ability. And I can honestly say that. Yeah, I wanna. Yeah, I wanted to do YouTube. Yeah, not wanted. Yeah, I wanna do YouTube, and yeah, I wanna do all these different things. Not even with YouTube. Not just even with YouTube. But my whole culinary stuff. Like I still have a flyer. Where? Well, how long ago I've been wanting to do, wanting to do my own, my own cooking stuff. Two years now. Two or three years now. I didn't get to it yet. Cause I'm afraid. So people will be like, Oh, when is this she cooking? Oh, well, why it look like that? Oh, your food tastes trash. Oh, this, that, and the next. It was the crazy part about it too was that she could really cook. Like, guys, she's like a real chef. She could really cook. And I've been telling her all the time, like, just put it out, put it out. You need feedback. Feedback is the only way you can grow. Like, if I take a picture of something, it'll just stay in my phone. I wouldn't post it because I would be so afraid to be like, oh, people to message me and be like, ah! So now we're fully committed. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys comment down below different ways that y'all deal with your anxiety or you know just having fail. And yeah, stay tuned for our life, I guess. Guys, if you're new to the channel again, welcome, welcome to the Army family. Let's get it. This video wasn't supposed to be long. I know it was supposed to be long. But you know, I just have but to get I'll it off my you chest. Get it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, so guys, we'll be back with more content next time. So stay tuned. Yeah.